Oxide in a Weymouth home sent four family members to the hospital. Now, investigators say in this case it was a couple in their 70s who forgot to turn off their car once it was in the garage. Oh, and the odorless and colorless fumes went into the house, sickening the couple and their two young grandchildren. As Bill Shield shows us, there was not a working CO detector in the home. Firefighters say this home in Weymouth was not equipped with carbon monoxide detectors. And Sunday evening, a couple in their 70s, along with their grandchildren, drove into the garage, shut the garage door, but forgot to turn off the car. Hours later, they were barely alive. And any firefighter will tell you how important carbon monoxide detectors are. It's uh, a very inexpensive life insurance policy. For as little as $20 to $45, you can have something that will virtually safeguard your life. The homeowner, Raj Nayak, had just bought a new car equipped like this one. It has a push button start and stop ignition. No keys to make noise or remind you the car is running. Family member says that may have played a role in the carbon monoxide poisoning. This is such a sad thing and, a, you know, an accident to happen. And who knows, um, you know, these new cars with push button starts, I, you know, um, no keys dangling. Carbon monoxide detectors are available at every hardware store and warn a homeowner to a lethal danger that our senses cannot detect. You don't see it, hear it, smell it. It's still not clear yet how the Nyack family was found. What is clear, though, is they might not be alive today if the car had not run out of gas. In Weymouth, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Ten parts per million of carbon monoxide in a home is considered dangerous. When firefighters arrived at the Weymouth house, that level was almost 500 parts per million.